a very good afternoon everyone i am purva project officer on behalf of city university would like to take care of welcoming our speakers dr sandeep basin who is presently working as associate professor with mit university noida senior management leader over 28 years of experience in planning and leading market marketing branding initiative communication management and in management education sectors we welcome you sir and uh, another speaker is dr ajay sridhana who is presently working as associate professor management and dean academics in amity university noida having more than 20 years of experience in corporate and academic sector he has worked with mumbai based corporate associated with national stock he also served as branch head in bajaj capital limited new delhi without any delay sir i hand over this session to you sir thank you thank you very much uh, thank uh, thanks dr nikhil uh, thanks to the city university management staff and uh, apurva thanks for giving us a chance to take with the students so students i am able to you all am i audible clearly audible to you all you are audible sir okay so basically uh, we have to discuss uh, a thing called innovation as a strategy so the next time we are basically like uh, why the strategy is basically required all the students uh, expect i am expecting that you must be having a full years for another 45 50 odd minutes to us and uh, keep on interacting in us with us in between in any case if you face any issue challenge or any queries there so basically the innovative strategies guide decision on how to use the resources in our institution in our organization uh, to meet the business objectives basically for the innovation objective for the innovation to deliver the values and the build competitive environment or as such advantages of uh, whatever we are having in terms of sources and the resources so strategies should include an analysis of a business competitiveness and technology environment the external challenges and the opportunity to face and so i should say the innovative strategy must be having all the ingredients of uh, to face the challenges and the issues like which we can not foresee suddenly in terms of contingency system is been there if we do talk about the importance like uh, a business needs to be able to utilize the technology with the innovative concepts fine a business can fail if the business is not going to be you know grow if it cannot be grow business will fail sooner or later you may take an example of anything like maybe marketing maybe finance or maybe any sector what you do deem fit if the business cannot ever changing in the world it will be failed sooner or later strategies of a company is then one of the most important aspect like which you do inculcate in between to add to grow your business in all the respect covid is one of the live example it has you know updated or maybe you can say has added lot many equations or developed lot many equations in the coming scenario fine so to improve or to make the new ones of the business to impact on the marketplace and uh, innovative strategy is really really required so basin sir is with me and he will be also adding some uh, more insight to you people sure uh, what you see on the screen is uh, the image of uh, ray dalio uh, he is world's greatest hedge fund manager he has made billions and billions of dollars for himself as well as for his investors he runs a hedge fund at the same time he is also into uh, writing books at this point in time uh, we are talking about strategy and we need to basically understand where exactly does ray dalio fit in in terms of strategy as i said uh, he is one of the greatest uh, hedge fund managers Uh, the world has ever seen and at this point in time ray dalio is completely concentrating on one particular market from an investment perspective which is china he has predicted that china is going to be the next world leader 
and hence most of uh, his investments and his clients investments are concentrating on china that's his strategy now the moment i say that's his strategy it simply means that uh, strategies have their own risks at any given point in time uh, you cannot have a fool proof strategy per se since we are talking about china the next image that you see over here is of uh, xi jinping uh, the leader of uh, china at this point in time we obviously know over the last couple of days what exactly is happening in china in terms of uh, the citizens protesting against uh, these uh, policies but what z has actually done over the last couple of decades is uh, he has used certain strategies especially 2012 onwards to ensure that china dominates the world and this particular aspect actually gets captured by an investor such as ray dalio who's investing all of his funds in china basically like i said uh, he is a hedge fund manager so uh, when i say all of his funds it's specifically related to hedging uh, both of these gentlemen that you see on your screen have got their own strategies and uh, both these strategies are aligning at one point in time because one particular person's strategy of dominating the world is completely in sync with the other person's strategy of understanding that dominance and then putting the money where uh, the money is you know where, where you can find all the returns the third person on the screen is uh, jack wilch the ex uh, chief of ge why do we have ex chief of ge in the same profile on the same slide is uh, fairly simple um, when i look at fortune 500 companies ge happens to be the only company since 1955 when for the first time fortune 500 was released as a concept in the magazine ge has been the only company since 19 55 to have consistently performed in that particular list which means since 1955 till 2012 one company that has consistently performed is ge and that's because they follow certain strategy the strategy, the strategy is fairly simple in fact uh, jack will strategy was fairly simple and i'm sure all of you are aware of uh, this particular strategy which is uh, you have to be the number 1 or number 2 or number 3 in the industry where you are operating if yes. you are not there rightly rightly said uh, mr basin that uh, we need the strategy in each and every aspect of the uh, field like uh, maybe though it is a marketing so maybe it is a financial or maybe though it is a production line wherever you are talking and nowadays logistics part is again a part of the strategy formulation research and development strategies and that to specifically in hr related area we need innovative strategies in each and every aspect of the life see as we are talking about the china like uh, we do talk about china plus one having a you know uh, fight or maybe threatening to the existing uh, mighty or so called usa so here by on your screen you may find it out uh, the labor force in terms of the millions uh, see 7.8 million uh, labor force uh, having a china's uh, and visa vis against you can find it out the indian labor force 471 and then see the difference of the posting part if you to talk about uh, how the chinese product are so cheap in our communication in our day to day talks we do find chinese products are so cheap so they do have their own innovative strategies maybe like uh, labor to be used we have to use and how to use and you might be have heard that example or saying is that china is having a zero uh, hours like in any universities institutions and various companies they do have a zero hours kind of the lecture zero hours kind of the hour and they do use their uh, labor or the manpower to you know use into the production line or to the manufacturing at a zero cost so these are the certain understanding that you may find it out that innovative strategies work in every aspect of the life 
Yes, Mr. Basim. Uh, after we have understood the strategy from uh, the nation's perspective and from the corporate perspective, especially when we looked at it from China's dominance perspective or when we look at it from General Electric's uh, strategic perspective, Mike Tyson, uh, one of the greatest boxers of all times, he made this particular statement. He said that uh, all of you uh, would have certain kind of a plan, certain kind of a strategy. Uh, while uh, you try and take on your competition, that particular strategy is effective only till the time your competition actually punches you in the mouth. In simple terms, I may have a specific strategy to work with, but if I assume that my competition has no strategy, I will be in deep, deep trouble. And this is the reason why uh, innovation as a strategy has actually taken up uh, the highlight uh, from regular strategies that uh, we have been uh, thinking of and that we have been implementing over all these years. Because innovation is something which basically forces you to think out of the box every now and then. And then you start planning as per the new needs that have developed in the marketplace. Now, when you look at Mike Tyson's uh, style of uh, fighting, you would see how similar it was as compared to Muhammad Ali's style, style of uh, fighting where you would actually tire out your competition and then you uh, pull the uh, killer punch. That was one of the strategies which uh, Mike Tyson used. That is exactly the same strategy that has been used by Geo and Airtel at this point in time. When we are specifically looking at competing uh, brands such as, say, uh, uh, Bharti Airtel and uh, Geo competing with Vodafone and Idea uh, combined together. So all of these uh, players ultimately come to the market with a strategy. If that particular strategy is easily captured by the competition, you will be kicked out of the market. If that particular strategy is innovation driven, then things are a little uh, different in that particular regard. So you actually have some uh, leeway over your competition. This takes us to understanding what strategic thinking is all about. Uh, so the first thing is uh, you need to think absolutely in a broad perspective. Uh, you need to think out of the box continuously. You have to have the bird's eye view of what exactly is going to happen as and when your strategy gets implemented. The second point is to cover challenges and opportunities that you are going to face on a real time basis. Because every time you put on your strategy, your competition is going to react to that strategy. The moment the competition reacts to that strategy, whatever you have planned may just go haywire, which means you need to have a complete uh, track of what exactly is going to happen. You know, we, we generally call it scenario planning. Uh, that is one of the strategies that we generally use uh, to predict the future. So you are keeping your eye on the challenges and opportunities. You make choices on how to act and uh, what to do at any given point in time, completely dependent on the uh, scenario planning that you have built in the earlier point. And the last thing that happens in strategic thinking is how you make real difference over a longer period of time. Now, uh, one of the basic question is what exactly is this longer period? Now, whenever we look at a specific industry, we look at it from the perspective of gestation period. So uh, when you look at a gestation period of, say, an airliner, the gestation period is seven years. When you plan your strategy, anything that goes beyond seven years is considered as long term. When I look at a three or a four star hotel, uh, the gestation period is two and a half years. So anything beyond two and a half years is called as long term. So whenever I am looking at strategic thinking, I am purely looking at it from a broader perspective, the bird's eye view perspective. I am looking at all the challenges and opportunities that will be thrown at me while I make that particular plan. So to cover that, I do a scenario planning for the next five to seven years, depending on the gestation period. I make the choices depending on my earlier rule. And then I look at long-term or uh, 
short term uh, kind of a strategy we generally call short term strategies as uh, tactics uh, and i'm sure uh, you are already aware of that particular perspective just in case you have any questions you please uh, uh, please please feel free to uh, use the chat and uh, we should be able to answer those questions uh, on real time else you can just uh, raise your hand and uh, if there is a possibility of uh, using the uh, uh, using the mic then we can answer your questions uh, online uh, let's let's move ahead we are looking at innovation as uh, the key now when i specifically talk about innovation there are three kinds of innovation that we generally look at the first innovation is the product innovation this is something which is absolutely on the face like, like you, you have, have an mp3 player and then you have got ipod then the ipod gets replaced with a mobile phone that's specifically a product innovation yeah and then that to specifically you can take an example of our household item also like in our way back our parents used to uh, use uh, to clean the clothes as a nail kind of the powder blue color powder and later on like uh, amar ujala this uh, ujala nail has came into the picture like liquid format as product process innovation strategies always required not only in this regard in each and every aspect of the you know field we need to have a different tactics though maybe it is finance though maybe it is a product so maybe it is a marketing like you may find it out nowadays in lot many financial innovative products have come into the market fine had uh, say if you go for way back uh, 1991 first time financial reforms so private sector has emerged into the field that you know to borrow the market like we can go for the factoring we can go for forfeiting so these kind of the innovative understanding has come into the market and uh, that to specifically apple you can take a live example of apple in now apple has you know start producing the manufacturing in india so these kind of the strategy like contingency strategy situational strategy as dr basin quoted it out earlier in that you must be having a some scenario uh, prospective in the coming future in longer period of the time where your survival will be happen where you will be in a position to earn more profit so now most of the companies say like the panasonic japanese companies apple has also start you know producing in the india so these are the certain innovative strategy you can find it out so uh, effectively what uh, dr sidana is uh, talking about is three kinds of uh, innovations can happen at any given point in time one is the product innovation which uh, where where you design uh, innovative products the other one is a process innovation where product may be the same but you change the complete process itself of manufacturing it or of providing the service and the third is business model you just change the business model uh, itself and uh, use that particular thing as uh, an innovation over your uh, competition now when i look at any of these three i uh, basically i'm trying to look at it from the market perspective because ultimately when i am looking at earning funds uh, i am looking at uh, increasing my space in the marketplace my market share in the marketplace that can happen only by developing the market so you have got existing market market and you have got new market which is on the y axis on the x axis we have taken technology where you have existing technology and new technology when you have a new technology in the existing market that's where disruptions happen the best example could be an uber or an ola in india where uh, uh, you know at one point in time i i would buy uh, i would i would basically hunt i stand on the on the road and uh, hunt for a rickshaw or a taxi today i just open my mobile phone click a couple of buttons and the taxi is waiting uh, down below that's disruption you completely change the way uh, people use technology to fulfill their existing needs incremental innovation is something which happens in an existing market with the existing technology we generally have seen these kind of incremental uh, innovations happening in almost all the products like a better better processor in your laptop or uh, a better 
uh, so uh, with, which is specifically designed for a certain kind of a washing machine those are all incremental innovation you know if if you have a front loading washing machine that particular washing machine doesn't need a lot of uh, foam so what uh, the innovation uh, happens in that particular space is you reduce the formation of foam foam in the in the detergent and then you sell that particular product Uh, to a very targeted uh, community that's incremental innovation for you architectural innovation is something that amazon does and does beautifully they have got speaker phones uh, they have got speaker sorry not not phones they had launched phones but uh, now obviously we don't use it but they use the same technology in uh, smart speakers where uh, they have architecturally changed that particular product uh using the same technology in a new market and then of course you have got radical innovation the best example of radical innovation i guess is when the for the first time a mobile phone was launched or when for the first time a motor vehicle was launched that's radical innovation so in a nutshell what exactly is innovation innovation is basically looking at a particular uh, need and trying to process that particular need either by using product innovation process innovation or business model innovation all of these three can easily be fitted into architectural innovation radical innovation disruptive innovation and incremental innovation now the best part about this is that when you look at it from an organization's perspective they would not call it as architectural radical disruptive or incremental because this is too theoretical so what they generally do is they look at the market they design a product for that particular market and if that fits into say incremental innovation they would try and market it in a different manner if it tries and fits into say a radical innovation they will try and market it in a different manner ultimately through these innovations all you are trying to do is you are trying to have an upper hand over your competition nothing is more dangerous than an idea when it is the only one that you have this particular statement basically helps you understand that if you have just one innovation available with you you are not going to survive for long because it's only a matter of time when your competition is going to catch up with you and uh, when the competition catches up with you you will be left high and dry think, think about the air fryer that was launched by uh, philips now when air fryer was launched uh, in the world uh, by philips they were the only ones to sell that particular product but very soon everybody realized that they were using a fairly simple technology there 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 is a fan and the fan rotates and distributes the heat across that particular space just like an oven uh, so if you have a big oven with you uh you can just uh, see those fans there are there are two small fans at the back of the oven uh and and you use the same technology and you created something called as air fryer the moment we realized it we also designed a product and today philips happens to be although they happen to be uh, a pioneer but uh, other brands have taken that particular space mm-hmm. ultimately it means that if you are operating with just one single innovative idea possibly you will be out of the market yeah yeah you can you can take the example of the covid time also yeah. that during the covid time lot many you know industry came it out it was uh, like booming like anything like zoom where we people are meeting and earlier it was not famous that way like as now the zoom has come up up like anything ms team there are so many it based technology has come in the you know covid time you know home delivery was one of the again uh, new innovative strategies so uh, there are lot many mobile application came into the existence like if you have to now even buy uh, and vegetable or say some grocery now certain things are at your disposal fine you have to just click some few buttons and uh, certain things so in in competitive environment uh, companies are you know not only giving the discount but they are offering a free home delivery services and what else like down the line there are certain applications available uh, as an innovative strategy or innovative thinking you can say like till late evening uh, around say 11:59 pm till 12 pm like uh, if you do give some order of vegetable and early in the morning you wake up and the vegetable grocery item or whatever the needful things will be at your doorstep 
Once you open the door in the morning 6 a.m., everything will be available. Prepaid, nobody will know, contact you, contactless delivery. These are the certain innovative deliveries idea that uh, has emerged over a period of the time. Dr. Basina has rightly quoted that if you have only single idea, things will not you know, work it out. If you are thinking for marketing, that you will develop your career into the marketing. If you are thinking uh, that you are developing your career into the finance, and both ways, if you can merge it out, if you can take a career opportunity as a marketing of financial services, then again, as an innovative idea, you can implement of it. If I do say that I want to invest and I am seeking some uh, consultant, then marketing of financial services kind of the idea, innovative idea, you can come and you can over the phone, you can you know, guide me that I'm having this kind of the application where you, know, you can invest, click some few button and then your amount will be invested. And over there, once you can see me as a, as my ID, you can just send me some Excel sheet, Excel modeling sort of uh, uh, MIS information and keep me on the online touch. So you need not to pay visit to somebody to guide. You need not to go to some office just because of the COVID or some COVID fear is there. It is a kind of the marketing strategy that you are providing marketing and then you are having an understanding of financial product. So that way you are doing marketing of financial services. Absolutely. And uh, when we are looking at uh, uh, financial products uh, per se, uh, uh, we have got uh, the concept of mutual oh, funds, yeah. we have got the con concept of uh, PMS, we have got the concept of directly investing in equities, we have the concept of trading. All these concepts that uh, we have just now spoken of, they were innovative at one point in time, till the time the competition catches you, uh, catches up with you. And when the competition catches up with you, you need to think out of the box and then look at something uh, which your competition may not be able to uh, support. So rightly put, Dr. Sidana, it is uh, very, very important for us to work on multiple innovations at any given point in time. Because if we don't work on multiple innovations, then possibly we would end up in a situation where our competition can literally uh, put us uh, in in the corner. Now, uh, there are some of the examples that we have got for you uh, of innovative products. Just ask yourself, as you see these products, just ask yourself whether you are going to buy them given an opportunity. Yeah, this is a beautiful lamp. Uh, this is a regular lamp. And uh, during the night, it can actually turn into a night lamp. So one lamp actually does the work for uh, two uh, two times uh, we have got uh, this uh, particular innovation which actually um, entice one of our uh, students to create a similar kind of a product and then got a patent for it uh, here at amity now uh, you, you must have uh, seen these kind of uh, boxes uh, where uh, chewing gums are supplied to you and generally what happens is that we chew the gum and we just throw it or we, uh, you know, we, we just spit it uh, and somebody who's walking behind us uh, would face some kind of a problem when he or she steps on it. This particular box has got a, a butter paper rolled on it. So every time I want to throw that chewed gum, I just roll it in one of the butter paper and push it down the socket that you see below that particular box. And as I approach a dustbin, I just empty that particular uh, box itself. So we are not unnecessarily trying to um, create issues uh, and we are, we are trying to be very, very specific in our, in our approach. approach. This, this is something which was then uh, later on supported. I mean, uh, these are the three gentlemen who started a water ATM where you get your water, uh, they would filter it for you and give you pure drinking water. This started in uh, Rajasthan and uh, Bill Gates, Melinda Gates and Melinda Foundation later uh, took this particular concept across the globe. And uh, this water ATM has now become one of the uh, main uh, ideas where they are uh, providing uh, drinkable water pure drinking water across the globe in different regions. Uh, this is a good example of uh, innovative product. Uh, you cut the vegetable. Now, if I want to cut the vegetable in the same size, this is the scissors that are available on Amazon. I can actually buy these scissors. Uh, this is a sofa, uh, especially when you are living in a flat, which is very small. 
this uh, five seater is actually a three seater i can convert that three seater into a five seater by just pulling off one particular aspect so in a very congested place i can actually keep a five seater depending on how many people are visiting my place this is a beautiful socket again you can buy this on amazon where a a, a single cube has got multiple uh, uh ports uh, you don't need a standard extension but a beautiful looking extension which you see on the screen uh which which can accommodate uh, the usb as well as the regular uh three pin and two pin uh, sockets a multiple uh, port for your uh, convenience every time i plug my laptop uh, cable uh, i face this particular problem you know that how do how do i keep Uh, the uh, wire intact which is connected to the socket through uh, through 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 my laptop now what you have done is you have just taken a piece of plastic you have converted that particular plastic into a specific shape and you have put that particular plastic or lock that particular plastic on the socket itself and you just roll the wire over there this looks pretty presentable and what what is it going to cost you hardly a couple of rupees to manufacture and you can sell it easily for 50 100 rupees in the marketplace now this particular product is actually available in the marketplace the question is whether i am going to buy it uh this is a beautiful clock it's an alarm clock which doesn't allow you uh to switch it off so what it ha- what what happens is every day morning suppose you uh, you you put up the alarm of say 5 o'clock this alarm clock has got wheels attached to it uh the moment it starts ringing it will not allow you to snooze it so it just runs away and your volume starts increasing which means it becomes very very irritating for you you will have to literally hunt for this particular alarm clock uh, you will have to get up from your bed you will have to hunt for the alarm clock just to switch it off the idea of uh, alarm is basically to kick you out of the bed and this particular uh, design actually helps you do that uh this particular alarm clock actually won an award in 2015 for the most innovative product um this product is available on amazon.com not available on amazon.in but the question over here is will you buy it? um this is, uh, this is a innovation a from innovation mit from uh, united uh, states of america, america. uh there are uh, you know you if if a person is blind obviously uh, the person wants to read a book you would have a book only in braille now hardly 1% of the books would be available in that particular format of braille format so what the engineers at mit did was they created this instrument this uh, equipment where uh, all you are supposed to do is just swipe your finger over the text and the machine is going to read out that particular text for you which means uh, if a person has is is blind or has got issues with uh, with his or her eyes or the person is dyslexic all the person is supposed to do is just use the finger and the machine is going to read out the text uh, for uh, for for uh, that Uh, for that reader and this particular product is again available not in this format that you see but in a much better format uh, in in the in the market this is again uh, something that you must have experienced all you are supposed to do is cut a piece of paper and uh, create a holder for your phone uh, this is a single plug where you can actually add three more, three more uh, plugs, plugs as, as uh, an innovative uh, extension uh for and and this is again available on amazon for you this is one particular idea which one of my students actually implemented launched a, a launched a service and now is uh, uh is, is, is offering, offering this particular service in 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 cr uh, of uh, of delhi uh, where uh, you have an application you have got parking problems all across uh, ncr so all you are supposed to do is download the application uh as you reach that particular position where you wanted uh, a parking space you just need to press a button and uh, a valet will be standing over there just to take care of uh, your parking needs uh this particular uh, company uh was launched in 2012 if i'm not mistaken 
and companies like mercedes have actually invested money in this uh, particular company you you can actually think through uh, these kind of ideas and see why a company like mercedes would be interested in in, uh, in, investing, in investing in that kind of a company uh, you have, uh, you a, have bike a bike means bike means two wheels so this, so is, this a is a self balancing bike, bike. Just, just imagine how this particular product can add value to your life if you have a uni uh, bicycle just one wheel but it is self balancing would you be interested in buying this kind of a bike uh, this is a pen which is available on amazon for i guess 15000 rupees uh, this helps you not only record what is written on the page but also helps in speaking out that particular text for you so if you have an issue reading uh you can use this particular equipment uh very very targeted extremely extremely useful for people uh, this this product was actually designed for dyslexic uh, students uh the idea over here is just ask yourself whether you are going to buy any of these products because if you can look at it from a consumer's perspective you would see how the consumer thinks how the needs of the consumer arise and then you incorporate those innovations as part of your strategy effectively what you are doing is you are looking at proactive where you out of your way to create new products some of these products will be successful some of these products will be failures but in the end the products which are successful will give you uh, absolutely amazing uh, results active innovation are those innovations where you are constantly looking out for new ways of doing business but keep a track on your competition as well as soon as you get a hint that the competition is working on that innovation you immediately launch your product which is already ready with you so you preempt your competition uh, in that particular regards and automatically you become the first in the market with your product obviously uh, top of mind recall works for you reactive is when you react to a given situation uh where where a, a good example to reactive innovation is when duster was launched in 2012 by reno immediately after that uh, you had ford launching uh, after after one year or so ford launched eco sport that was reactive because uh, what they realized what ford realized was that all of a sudden people were really interested in suvs at that point in time so they immediately created a product and reacted to a given situation and passive innovation is something that maruti suzuki did in the same industry where they took a lot of time to create something called as breza and then they came up with breza and they uh, tried to capture that particular market none of these or all of these that you see on the screen innovative strategies can be wrong or right it completely depends on the situation you are in and then you take the right decision uh, how much time do we have we have just about a couple of minutes now so i'll just quickly take you through the latest uh, uh, innovation that people are talking about which is directly related to uh, the um, green technology uh, where uh, you are continuously trying to save the climate uh, here's some of the examples that you have already lived through uh, these are the led bulbs which almost all of us have at our home this is the tesla car that completely changed in an innovative manner the way we drive today we have got quite a few brands operating in this particular space but what attracts me the most is this solar powered speaker now uh, this doesn't need any kind of wire it runs only on solar energy Uh, which is available on amazon by the way you just need to shell out about 15 16000 rupees to buy this particular product uh, what you see on the screen is an amazing amazing uh, innovation that philips is working on at this point in time and i'll just take a couple of minutes of yours to explain this agar aap logo ko aap logo ne kabhi jugnu dekha ho the firefly uh, how does a firefly really shines in the night or lights up in the night well there is a certain kind of a bacteria in its belly which glows now what philips is actually doing at this point in time is they are trying to cultivate that bacteria in test tubes which means you don't need any power source to create a bulb that will shine throughout the night 
without any power source. So what they are actually trying to do is they are trying to create a bulb which doesn't need any kind of power source using the same bacteria that glows the firefly in the night. Now, if this particular product is launched, think about where all would you be able to use this product, especially uh, the areas where you don't have electricity, especially the areas which need uh, constant uh, uh, constant uh, reminders per se when I'm driving on the highway and there is no electricity over there. Uh, I, I can actually use this particular technology to highlight certain twists and turns uh, ahead or uh, give you a guidance in terms of where exactly you need to turn to go for your destination. Now, these are the kind of things that you need to constantly think on and ask yourself whether you fit into that specific innovative strategy. Uh, while uh, we were uh, looking at having some kind of a conversation on what exactly is going to happen in terms of innovation when it comes to metaverse, but uh, we'll keep it for the next time, uh, Dr. Yes, Zalana. Yes, sir. but yeah. obvious and you have given a lot of insightfulness and uh, certain things I was not aware about. And uh, we can go for any discussion, any question, uh, if any student is having, we can go for the same. Dr. Basin is full of uh, the insightfulness and uh, may exchange certain uh, few more, you know, thoughts with his, you know, rich experience. Any, anything, uh, any student is having any question, Apurva is there? Apurva, in any case, any student is willing to ask any question? Sure, we can sir. conclude uh, our lecture over here. Anybody? Is willing to ask any question. Manjot, Kamal ji, Ramanjot Kaur is there. Saloni, Jasmin Kaur. I can find lot many names on the screen. Those who are willing to ask any question, and the forum is open for your queries, please. So we can understand that you got uh, all the understanding. Whatever Dr. Basin uh, imparted you. Apurva is there? Apurva. Yes, sir. Yeah, Purvaji, uh, I suppose uh, students have got uh, a very good understanding and uh, in any case, any queries there, we are available uh, and the so form is open for the queries. Sure, sir. Thank you so much, sir, for the wonderful session. And the session is uh, so interesting. Thank you for uh, sharing your valuable time for our students. Uh, I request IT team to please share uh, the certificate of appreciation, please. Sandeep, sir, thank you so much for your valuable time. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much for the same. Sir, thank you so much. This is your certificate of appreciation. Mm -hmm. And I'll be sharing with you uh, via email too. Thank you so much, sir. Grateful.